The truth about singer Christina Grimmie, a sad ending. Christina Victoria Grimmie, March 12, 1994, June 10, 2016, was an American singer, songwriter, musician and YouTuber known for her participation in the NBC singing competition The Voice and for her covers of hit songs by contemporary pop musicians. In June 2011, she released her debut EP, Find Me. Her studio album with Love was released in 2013. A second EP, Saida, was released in 2016. A posthumous release, Side B, was also made available on iTunes and Spotify. Her posthumous album, titled All Is Vanity, is due on June 2, 2017. In 2014, Grimmie was a contestant on season 6 of The Voice and finished in third place. Adam Levine, her coach on the show, announced in the finale that regardless of the results he would sign her to his label 222 Records. Lewayne also offered to sign her to his label, Young Money Entertainment. She was signed with Island Records for a short time before being dropped. She took an acting role in 2016, making her first and only motion picture appearance in The Matchbreaker. On June 10, 2016, Grimmie died of gunshot wounds inflicted in a targeted attack that followed her concert performance in Orlando, Florida. Personal Life Christina Grimmie was born to Tina and Albert Grimmie. Her mother worked as a receptionist until she was diagnosed with breast cancer, while her father worked at Verizon Communications as of 2014. Her older brother Marcus served as Christina's road manager during her performance as she was of Italian and Romanian descent. Grimmie grew up in Marlton, New Jersey, where she attended Bethel Baptist Christian School, Marlton Middle School, and Cherokee High School. Grimmie identified as a Christian. Her family attended Fellowship Alliance Chapel in Medford before they moved to Los Angeles. Grimmie was homeschooled for her junior year in 2010. Her father noticed Grimmie's talent for singing when she was six years old, and she started playing the piano at age 10. Despite having received piano lessons, Grimmie said she played by ear. Grimmie was an animal rights activist and participated in fundraising events for the Humane Society of the United States. The Christina Grimmie Animal Medical Fund was created in her honor. Career, 2009-2010, YouTube Recognition and Discovery, Grimmie began posting videos to her YouTube channel in 2009, at age 15. The first video she uploaded was a cover of Hannah Montana's Don't Wanna Be Torn. She first earned recognition for her cover of Miley Cyrus's Party in the USA in August 2009. Her 2010 cover with fellow YouTuber Sam Tsui of Nelly's Just a Dream has tallied more than 135 million views. In 2011, she placed number two in the My YouTube competition, behind Selena Gomez. Her channel had more than 375 million views and over 2 million subscribers as of April 2013. As her popularity grew on YouTube, Grimmie was discovered by Gomez's mother, Mandy Tiffy. Tiffy and her husband Brian soon became Grimmie's managers. 2011, Find Me Grimmie performing at a Christmas tree lighting in 2014, Grimmie performed in the UNICEF charity concert, and also performed backup vocals for Selena Gomez and The Scene. She appeared on the first DG tour in 2011, which was created specifically for YouTube artists. Gomez became her mentor. Grimmie appeared on the Billboard Social 50. 20. She also opened for Selena Gomez and The Scene, All-Star Weekend and The Jonas Brothers during the Concert of Hope. She toured for six weeks with Selena Gomez and The Scene opening for them in the We Own The Night Tour. She released an EP entitled Find Me, on June 14, 2011. Her debut single Advice was released to Radio Disney on June 11, with a music video directed by Sean Babas, being released on July 19 on her YouTube channel. She appeared on The Ellen DeGeneres Show with fellow YouTuber Tyler Ward, performing a cover to Lil Wayne's, How to Love. The episode aired on October 10, 2011. On November 20, 2011, Grimmy performed at the 39th American Music Awards of 2011 pre-show alongside Tano Cruz to a special rendition of Higher. She also performed her song Not Fragile at the American Music Awards of 2011 Coca-Cola Red Carpet Show along with Selena Gomez and The Scene. She and the band appeared together in a commercial for Xbox's Kinect.
Grimmy was the special musical guest performing her hit song Advice on Disney Channel So Random, which premiered on December 11, 2011, 2012 to 2013, with Love. In January 2012, Grimmy moved to Los Angeles to pursue her singing career. She was signed in April to Creative Artists Agency. On Disney.com, she starred in the web show Power Up, with Christina Grimmy, which ran from March 29, 2012 until June 5, 2012. She also revealed that she would be working with a new band, Rising Tide, a teen group originally from her hometown area in New Jersey. She then opened for Gomez during the North American leg of her Stars Dance Tour, performing songs from her second album with Love, which was released on August 6, 2013. On October 3, her music video for Tell My Mama was given its exclusive premiere on Billboard.com. Grimmy said the video is about a guy that I start liking in school, and he's sort of a dangerous kid, and I am the type of girl that tells my mom about everything. 2014, The Voice, Grimmy auditioned for season 6 of NBC's singing competition, The Voice, as revealed on her Facebook page. 29, during the blind auditions, she performed Miley Cyrus' hit song Wrecking Ball. All four coaches, Adam Levine, Usher, Shakira, and Blake Shelton, turned their chairs for her, and she opted for Adam Levine. She finished in third place, behind winner Josh Kaufman and runner-up Jake Worthington. Studio version of performance reached the top 10 on iTunes, 2014-2017, post The Voice. Major label debut. Posthumous releases, during the competition, Grimmy's coach Adam expressed his desire to sign her to his record label, 222 Records. Lil Wayne also showed interest in signing her to Young Money Entertainment. She ultimately chose to sign with Island Records. She toured with previous contestants of The Voice including Season 5 winner Tess Amchin, runner-up Jack Whaley, Will Champlin, Season 1 runner-up Dia Frampton, Season 6 winner Josh Kaufman, runner-up Jake Worthington, and fellow Season 6 contestants Chris and Merlin and Jake Barker. The Voice Summer Tour started on June 21, 2014, in San Antonio, Texas. She was writing and recording music for her sophomore album, her third major release, and first release since being signed to a label. The lead single was expected to be released in July 2014, with the album following later in the year. Grimmy announced via Facebook that filming for the lyric video for the single started on July 6, 2014. On July 11, she announced that her new single would be called Must Be Love. On July 15, 2014, she announced via live stream that the song would be released on July 31. Must Be Love was produced by LFL OELV and recorded at ZAC Recording in Atlanta, Georgia. On March 4, 2015, Grimmy announced that she had been dropped from Island Records and that she was working on a new album set to be released in late 2015. The new single from the album, Cliché, was released on March 16, 2015. On April 27, Grimmy released her second single, Stay With Me, a collaboration with Diamond Eyes, which climbed to number 5 on the iTunes electronic charts. The song also was included on 2015 UKF Dubstep, an album showcasing the top dubstep songs of the year. She was also a contestant in the iHeartRadio Macy's Rising Star Contest. On May 27, 2015, Grimmy was revealed as the winner of the contest, securing her spot to open the 2015 iHeartRadio Music Festival in September. On July 2, 2015, she released her third single, Shrug. In September 2015, she was one of 16 international artists including Paul McCartney to record the charity single Love Song to the Earth, which raises climate change awareness. On February 21, 2016, Grimmy released her second EP, titled Saiba, which consisted of four songs. Grimmy said Saiba was likely to follow. She had hoped to release a second full-length album by the end of the year. Grimmy had made a four-part video series for Side A comprising The Ballad of Jessica Blue. In July 2016, Brian Teefy announced that the videos would debut via Billboard then be featured on her YouTube channel. The first video, for the song Snow White, debuted on August 11. The second video, for Anybody's You, debuted on August 18.
Deception debuted on August 25. Without him on September 1st. Grimmy made her motion picture acting debut in The Matchbreaker, directed by Caleb Vedder. The film was released in selected theaters in October 2016 and released digitally in December. Grimmy received her first Teen Choice Award in 2016, winning posthumously for Choice Web Star, Music. It was her third such nomination. The televised ceremony caused backlash among her fans, who said her name was used to promote the show but never mentioned during the broadcast despite the inclusion of a tribute to victims of gun violence. On February 17, 2017, Grimmy's family released Christina's new single Invisible, and announced their plans to start a foundation in her name. Invisible is a part of Grimmy's EP Side B, which was released on April 21, 2017. Following the release of Side B, it was announced that Christina's first posthumous album will be titled All Is Vanity, scheduled to be released on June 2, 2017. Voice and Influences Grimmy possessed a light lyric soprano vocal range of three octaves and three notes. In 2014, while on The Voice, Usher called her a baby Celine Dion. Graham Nash said, I'm amazed at the range in the control and the depth of her voice. At 20 years old? That's insane. Shakira redeemed her high register out of this world. Grimmy grew up listening to contemporary Christian artist Stacky Rico. She has a really awesome voice and I was so drawn to it. I think the reason I do have a soul voice is because I grew up listening to her and she was my huge, huge influence. I wanted to sound just like her, I wrote songs that kinda sounded like something she would do. Grimmy cited Christina Aguilera as her main influence vocally. She also said she admired Beyoncé for her vocals. She said she liked dubstep and DJ music, as well as rock and roll and heavy metal artists Metallica, Pantera, Iron Maiden, and Tool. Death On June 10, 2016, Grimmy was shot by 27-year-old Kevin James Loibel while she signed autographs following her performance with the Before You Exit at the Plaza Live in Orlando. Loibel was tackled by Grimmy's brother, but the gunman broke free backed against a wall, and shot himself dead. Grimmy was taken to Orlando Regional Medical Center in critical condition with four gunshot wounds. She was pronounced dead just before 11 p.m. local time. The Orlando Police Department said Loibel traveled by taxi cab to Orlando from his home in St. Petersburg, Florida, bringing two handguns, two extra magazines full of ammunition, and a hunting knife. D. We believe he came here to commit this crime. Loibel did not have an arrest record in his home county, and did not appear to know Grimmy personally. Police did not offer a motive, e, but said Loibel had shown an unrealistic infatuation with the singer, and tried to make himself more physically attractive through weight loss, and hair and eye surgery. Loibel's family said they were not aware of his plans to travel to Orlando, nor that he possessed any guns. Dozens of artists, producers and other celebrities took to social media in response to Grimmy's death. The Voice tweeted, There are no words. We lost a beautiful soul with an amazing voice. Her former coach, Adam Levine, wrote that he and his wife were absolutely devastated and heartbroken. This is yet another senseless act of extreme violence. Longtime friend and former tour mate Selena Gomez wrote, My heart is absolutely broken. I miss you, Christina. Before You Exit, with whom Grimmy had performed before the shooting, tweeted, Today we lost an angel, sister, and a beloved friend. Songs written and recorded in Grimmy's memory include Tyler Ward's A Song for Christina, Before You Exit's Clouds, and Blink of an Eye by Tori Kelly. Grimmy was buried in a private ceremony in her hometown on June 16 the following day. Thousands of friends and fans attended a public memorial held in Medford, New Jersey. Aftermath, Grimmy's death led to calls for increased security at performing arts venues. American heavy metal band Pantera, noting the similarities between Grimmy's murder and the deaths of former Pantera guitarist Daryl Abbott and three others in 2004, urged concert promoters and club owners to impose stronger measures to protect artists from gun-wielding fanatics. Sadly. That's not the case and another rising star had to pay the consequences with her life. Selena Gomez, who is performing a few miles away in Orlando when Grimmy was shot, 
cancelled a meet and greet that was scheduled as part of her Miami concert the following night. The Plaza Live reopened four days after the shooting, and management asked Orlando police to help evaluate the club's security. Some singers in Las Vegas, including Collie Tucker, another Season 6 contestant on The Voice, were given escorts after their performances. In California, VidCon added metal detectors and security officers, and banned informal meet and greets, in the wake of Grimmie's shooting. Video personalities including Joey Graceffer were assigned private security. An industry attorney said the extra measures are expensive, and fans don't like it. But this is the new reality. On June 23, Billboard published an open letter to Congress, Stop Gun Violence Now demanding background checks for every gun purchase and an outright ban on sales to suspected terrorists. Billboard's editor said the ease with which dangerous people can get guns is the one connection between Grimmie's murder and the Pulse nightclub shooting the following night. The letter was signed by nearly 200 music industry luminaries, including artists Cher, Jennifer Lopez, Lady Gaga, Britney Spears, Tom York, and surviving Beatles Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr, I, and executives Daniel Glass, Irving Azoff, and Russell Simmons. In December 2016, six months after her murder, Grimmie's family filed a wrongful death lawsuit against several entities, including the concert promoter, the foundation that owns the venue, and the security company working the event. In January 2017, the venues requested that the judge dismiss the lawsuit, claiming Florida law does not allow business owners to be held liable for attacks on their property. A hearing on the motion to dismiss the lawsuit was set for May 23. Thanks for watching the video. My channel regularly posts new videos. Remember to subscribe to watch and share videos if you see a great video and thank you. Her older brother Marcus served as Christina's road manager during her performance as she was of Italian and Romanian descent. Grimmie grew up in Marlton, New Jersey, where she attended Bethel Baptist Christian School, Marlton Middle School and Cherokee High School Grimmy identified as a Christian. Her family attended Fellowship Alliance Chapel in Medford before they moved to Los Angeles. Grimmy was homeschooled for her junior year in 2011. She released her debut EP, Find Me. Her studio album with Love was released in 2013. A second EP, Sida, was released in 2016. A posthumous release, Psy B was also made available on iTunes and Spotify. Her posthumous album, titled All Is Vanity, is due on June 2, 2017. In 2014, Grimmie was a contestant on Season 6 of The Voice and finished in third place. Adam Levine, her coach on the show, announced in the finale that regardless of the results he would sign her to his label 222 Records. Lewayne also offered to sign her to his label. Young Money Entertainment. She was signed with Island Records for a short time before being dropped. She took an acting role in 2016, making her first and only motion picture appearance in The Matchbreaker. On June 10, 2016, Grimmie died of gunshot wounds inflicted in a targeted attack that followed her concert performance in Orlando, Florida. Personal Life Christina Grimmie was born to Tina and Albert Grimmie. Her mother worked as a receptionist until she was diagnosed with breast cancer, while her father worked at Verizon Communications as of 2014. The Truth About Singer Christina Grimmie, A Sad Ending Christina Victoria Grimmie, March 12, 1994, June 10, 2016, was an American singer, songwriter, musician and YouTuber known for her participation in the NBC singing competition The Voice and for her covers of hit songs by contemporary pop musicians. In 